Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today I have a full body Pilates workout for you. So when you are ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. For today's class, we will be using a mini resistance band, but don't worry if you don't have one because you'll still be able to enjoy the workout. But let's start on our hands and our knees. On your exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, arch your spine and broaden through your collarbones. And again, exhale round, really draw up through your belly button. Inhale, arch, opening through your chest. Just a couple more like this, moving with your breath, starting to pair your breath with your movement and tuning yourself into your body. One more big inhale, really open through your chest and then exhale, come to your neutral spine. Keeping your back nice and straight, exhale, extend your left leg back, inhale, slide it back in. Exhale, extend your right leg, inhale, slide it back in. Keep going, eight more like this. Really try to stay lifted up through your navel, keeping your hips nice and still and nice and square as you extend one leg out at a time. Really point through your toes, extend through your leg. Beautiful job. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold your right leg extended. Then if you can, reach your left arm by your ear and just hold here. Really draw up through your navel. Find as much length as you can. And then take your left hand behind your head with your elbow wide. Exhale, pull elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Eight more. Really rounding your spine, lifting up through your belly button as you bring your elbow to your knee. This is a really good challenge for our core. Only a few more. Let's do two more. You can do it. And last one. Well done. Set your right foot down, then inhale. Open your chest up towards the sky, reach your arm up. Exhale, thread your left arm through the right. Three more, inhale as you twist open. Exhale as you thread your left arm through the right. This should feel so nice for your spine. Beautiful, inhale, reach your left arm up one last time and then set your hand back down. Let's switch sides. So keeping your nice neutral spine, extend your left leg back and reach your right arm forward. Let's find that beautiful long line first, really lifting up through your navel and then take your right hand behind your head with your elbow wide. Exhale, pull elbow to knee, inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Eight more. Really open your elbow as you lift your chest. Point through your left toes, energizing through your left leg. You've got it. Let's do one more. Beautiful, set your left foot down, open your chest to the sky, reach your arm up, inhale, and then thread your right arm through the left on your exhale. And again, inhale, twist open, exhale, thread the arm through. Just two more like this, moving with your breath. Last one. 
Take one more big inhale, reach your arm up to the sky, then exhale, set your hand down. Well done. Step your right foot back, coming into your high plank, and then press back to your downward dog, pressing your heels down. Little combo. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, then shoot forward to plank and press back to down dog. And again, lift your heels, bend your knees and then shoot forward to your strong plank, then press back. Only a couple more here. Waking up our legs, waking up our core if it's not already awake, as well as our shoulders. Okay, one more, bend your knees and press forward to plank and let's hold here. Keeping your hips nice and still, let's alternate dropping one knee down to the mat at a time. So you tap and tap, really press through your shoulders, lift up through your navel. Ten more, nine, eight, you've got it, seven, six, five, four, three two one well done set both knees down and lower yourself down to your belly come up onto your forearms roll your shoulders back and open through your heart center take nice deep breaths here then look over one shoulder carefully drop your chin down and roll your head up to the other side and again, drop your chin and roll your head up to the other side. One more. Beautiful. Bring your head back through center, lower your chest down, press up onto your hands and your knees, curl your toes under and press back to your downward dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet now and just fold over your legs. Maybe you'd like to alternate bending your knees here just to release any tension through the back of your legs. Then bend both knees when you're ready. Grab a hold of your booty band if it's somewhere nearby and roll your spine up to standing. Let's come to the front of our mat for our standing series and then place the band around your thighs just above your knees. Step your feet out, mat distance apart, with your toes slightly turned out. Draw your navel in, and let's get ready for squats. So inhale, squat down, reach your arms forward, exhale, press up. Inhale, squat, exhale, press. Just eight more like this. Really shift your weight back into your heels, and press your knees out so that you're always maintaining that resistance on the band. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold a low in your squat. Bring your hands in front of your chest if that feels good for you. And then exhale, press your knees out. Inhale, release. Exhale, press out. Inhale, release. Eight more. Really try to keep sending your hips back, weight into your heels, so you find the maximum amount of burn in your glutes. And last one. Well done. Press up to standing now, tap one foot in, and then lower back down to your squat. So you tap, squat, tap, and squat. You've got it, keeping that resistance on the band, so keep pressing those knees out as you lower down into your squat. Let's do two more. And last one. Now hold a low in your squat, draw your navel in, 10 pulses down and down, just for eight more. Seven, six, little lower, five, four, three two and one well done everyone shift your weight onto your left foot and extend your right leg back behind you 
bend into your left knee and then slightly tuck your pelvis under so you find a squeeze through your right glute. On your inhale, hinge forward, keeping your left knee bent and lift your right leg up and then exhale, press back up to standing. So inhale, you hinge forward, exhale, you press up. Keep going. Make sure that your left knee stays nice and bent. This is all about working our standing glute, so working our left glute. Your right leg doesn't need to go high. I just want you to focus on really bending into your left knee and hinging forward with a super straight spine. You should be starting to feel that left glute fire up. Just two more. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, press up. Last one. Let's hold the hinge. Set your right foot down and now tap your right foot in and out. Inhale, tap in, exhale, tap out. You've got it. Stay nice and low on that left leg, keeping your spine straight, your core engaged. Just a few more. Last one. Well done. Let's step back into a lunge, bend both knees, Reach your arms up and take little pulses for 10, 9, nice straight spine, 7 more, 6, little lower, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stay low, hinge forward, let's repeat those taps, you tap in and out, maybe a little bit faster this time, you've got it, in, out, in, out. Just three more, two and one. Step back into your lunge, 10 pulses, let's go. 10, nine, you've got it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. My gosh, give that booty a nice little rub. And then let's get straight to the other side. So standing on your right leg, extend your left leg back, keeping a soft bend through your right knee, draw your navel in and tuck your pelvis under. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, press up. Inhale, hinge forward, nice straight spine. Exhale, press up. Just eight more like this. Really focusing on your right leg. So make sure your right knee is bent. And I want you to think of pressing down through your right heel, activating your glute to press yourself back up to standing. You've got it. Use your breath to help you. Remember your left leg doesn't need to lift high. Just two more. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, press up. Last one. Let's hold in our hinge. Set your left foot down and tap the foot. In and out. Inhale as you tap in. Exhale as you tap out. Stay nice and low in that right leg. You can do it. Can you bend your right knee a little bit more? Just a couple more. Two more and last one. Step back into your lunge. Nice straight spine and pulse it out. Four, ten, nine, eight. You've got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay low. Hinge forward. Back to those taps. Little faster. In, out, in, out. You've got it. Eight more. And seven, little lower, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Return to your lunge and final pulses. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, little lower, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Well done, everyone. Hopefully you felt that. Okay, return to your squat position for me. Inhale, let's squat down. Exhale, press up. You thought it was over. Inhale, squat. Exhale, press. Keep pressing those knees out. Five more, and then we get to lose the band. Four, three, two, last one. Hold low, final little pulses. Let's go. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one beautiful job press up to standing and let's take our band off our legs that should feel nice standing at the top of your mat inhale reach your arms up and exhale dive forward over your legs take a moment to bend one knee at a time if that feels good for you just releasing any tension then from here, carefully make your way down to seated on your mat. Pop your band to the side as we won't need that for a little bit. And start sitting up nice and tall with your knees bent. Holding on to the back of your thighs, let's carefully roll ourselves down to our back. Once you're on your back, imprint your spine. So press your lower back down into the floor and lift your legs to a tabletop position. Take your hands behind your head with your elbows wide and get ready for a combo. So exhale, push your right foot away, inhale, bend. Then exhale, push your left foot away, inhale, bend. Then exhale, lift your head, push both legs away and inhale, come back in. So right leg, then left. Then exhale, curl your head up and push both legs away. Inhale, lower back down. Keep going. Make sure that your lower back stays in contact with the floor. And when you lift your head and shoulders up, that you're slightly tucking your chin down towards your chest. You've got it. Really shoot those legs out. One more. Now on this last one, hold the curl, keep both legs out, then inhale, pull your knees in, exhale, shoot them out. Inhale, pull, exhale, extend. Eight more. You've got it. Seven. Keep that imprinted spine. Try to lift your head and shoulders up a little bit higher if you can. Three more. Two, and last one. Well done, hug your knees in, take a quick little breather. And then let's set our hands down by our side and extend our legs straight up to the sky. Maintaining that imprinted spine, inhale, open your legs wide, lower them, bring them together, and exhale, lift them straight up. Four more. So taking a nice big circle with your legs, but making sure that you're keeping your lower back in contact with the floor. And now reverse it. Inhale, lower the legs straight down, open them, exhale, close them together. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Just three more finding the control in this movement. And last one. Well done. Rebend your knees, take your hands behind your head and lift your head and shoulders up. Let's do a little combo. Two bicycle switches and then two big scissor switches. You've got it. It's inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale nice strong legs you've got it try to keep your head and shoulders as lifted as you can dropping your ribs down to your hips one more 
Now hold in your scissor position. Let's bring opposite elbow to opposite leg and switch it out. You exhale, twist and twist. You've got it. Just four more. Three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your head, hug your knees in. Maybe turn your head right and left if that feels good for you. And then let's take a quick little stretch for our hip flexors. So set your feet down on the mat underneath your knees and lift your hips up coming into your bridge position. Really lift up through your chest, lift your hips up as high as you can to feel that nice little release. Take one deep breath in and exhale, release your hips back down. Okay, let's roll on to the right side of our body now to work the side of our waist a little bit. So reach your right arm long and rest your head on your arm. Set your left fingers in front of you for a little support. Keeping both legs nice and straight, exhale, lift them up, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Just eight more. Really focus on dropping that top rib down towards your hip to help you lift your legs up nice and high. Just a few more. And on this next one, hold both legs lifted. Take your bottom arm in front of you for support and your top hand behind your head. Exhale, pull your knee towards your elbow and then extend it out. Keep that bottom leg lifted off the floor if you can. That way you're really using the side of your waist more. Keep going, exhale, crunch, inhale, extend. Just two more. And last one, beautiful. Take your bottom hand underneath your head for support and return your left fingertips to the floor. Let's take some big scissors for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, really switch. Four, three, two, one, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, you should have felt that in the side of your waist. Okay, from here, hop on up and come to your hands and your knees. Take your hands to the top corner of your mat and your feet towards the back corner of your mat. So you're on a diagonal. Come into your plank position and then cross your right ankle behind your left. On your exhale, pike your hips, really lift up through your navel, pressing through your shoulders. Then on your inhale, shift forward and drop your left hip to the floor, opening your chest, look over your right shoulder. And again, exhale, lift your hips, draw up through your navel. Inhale, drop your left hip down, look over your right shoulder. Just three more like this. Moving at your own pace, this is a difficult exercise. So only drop your hips as low as feels good for you. I want you to maintain the control in this movement. Let's do one more. Inhale, open. Exhale, press back. Well done. Now shift forward to your plank. Make sure your hips are square. Exhale, pull your right knee wide. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Just eight more. You can do it. Drop your left knee down to the mat if you need that modification. We're not here for long. Just four more. Three, two, one more. Well done. Lower your knees and press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Just taking this moment to catch your breath a little bit because that was a challenging series. Let's take one big cleansing breath in and exhale, sigh it all out through your mouth. Well done, roll yourself up and you guessed it, let's come straight into the other side. So lie down onto the left side of your body now, the left arm goes long and rest your head. 
Take your right fingertips in front of you. Exhale, lift both legs up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Eight more. Keep squeezing your legs together and try to keep your hips nice and stacked on top of one another. You've got it using the strength of your core and the side of your waist to lift your legs. On this next one, hold both legs lifted. Take your bottom arm out in front of your shoulder, top hand behind your head. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Keep that bottom leg lifted off the floor if you can. And then really use that arm that's out in front of you to help you lift up a little bit higher. You've got it, just a few more. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. And one more, crunch a little higher. Well done. Take your bottom hand behind your head, top hand in front for support. And let's take those scissors. You switch and switch. Eight, seven, six, really lift those legs. Four, three, two, one, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Okay, let's return to my favorite exercise. So bring your hands to the top corner of your mat and your feet towards the bottom corner. Find your strong plank position and then cross your left ankle behind your right. Exhale, pike your hips. Then inhale, lower your right hip to the floor as you look over your left shoulder. Then exhale, pike your hips, draw up through your navel. And again, inhale as you lower your hips, look over your left shoulder. Exhale as you lift your hips. Just three more. Moving at your own pace. This is a really challenging one. Just one more, you can do it. Well done. Keep your hips square, return to your plank. Left knee pulls wide for 10 and nine. You've got it. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend. Five more and four. Keep pressing through your shoulders. Three, two, and one. So good. You are so strong. Let's drop those knees and press back into a child's pose. And let's take another big cleansing breath in and a big sigh out through your mouth. Well done. Okay, let's give our abs a little bit of a break. Not too much, but a little bit. And let's grab a hold of our band. Now feel free to roll the front of your mat back to provide a little bit more cushioning for your knees or just come up into your high kneeling position like me. Take the band around your wrists and extend them forward in line with your shoulders. Make sure your palms are facing in and you're drawing your navel in towards your spine. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. So making sure here that your elbows stay in front of your shoulders and that you're keeping your spine as straight as you can. Just a few more. And on this next one, hold your elbows bent. Exhale, lift your arms up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So it's just little lifts, nothing too big. You should feel a really nice burn through your shoulders. Let's do three more two and one hold your elbows bent this time inhale extend your arms as you hinge back and exhale lift back up re-bend your elbows 
So inhale as you hinge back, exhale as you come up. Now make sure that when you hinge back, that you're tucking your hips under, squeezing your glutes and dropping your ribs down to your hips. Really using your core to support your body in this position. You've got it. Stay with me. Just three more. Keep drawing your shoulders down and back. And last one, hold in your hinge and press your arms out and out. You've got it. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ouch, lower yourself down, shimmy your shoulders, give them a little bit of a break. And then now let's bring our wrists in the band again, but this time behind our back. Make sure that your palms are facing back and slightly up to the sky. On your exhale, lift your arms up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So slightly hinging forward for this one, if that feels good for you so that we can really work the back of our arms. Make sure that you're still drawing your navel in, keeping your spine nice and protected. Just a few more. Now let's hold the arms lifted. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, press. Inhale, little bend. Exhale, press. Eight more. So it's a really small movement. It's almost like you're doing a tricep dip, but in a kneeling position. Really try to press your hands away from you as you extend your arms straight. And last one, hold your arms straight and let's finish by pressing our arms out and out. You've got it. Try to keep your arms nice and lifted, really resisting the band. Stay with me. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven. You've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. My gosh, release the band. Give yourself a big hug. Shimmy those shoulders. That was a tough one. Let's pop the band to the side. We don't need that again. And let's come into our final series. So coming on to your hands and your feet for your plank position. Drop your hips, draw your navel in. Exhale, tap one foot out to the side. Inhale back through center. Exhale, tap the other foot. Inhale through center. You've got it, just seven more. Class is almost over, so stay with me. Five more, maybe tapping that foot out a little bit wider if you can. Two more. And last one. Well done, lower down onto your forearms now. Two options, either step your feet out, out, in, in, or let's jump those feet out, in, out, in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, set your knees down and press back into a super well-deserved child's pose. Take a moment here to just completely relax. Maybe take your arms back towards your feet if that feels better for you. Just whatever feels good. Then carefully roll your chest up and let's come down onto our back to stretch it out. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, opening your knee and carefully draw your left leg in towards your chest. Close your eyes here if that feels good for you. 
and just take nice deep breaths. Then cross your right knee over your left and drop your legs to the left as you look over your right shoulder. Really breathing into this twist. Then carefully come back through center and switch sides. Cross your left ankle over your right leg and draw your right knee in towards your chest. Then cross your left knee over your right, drop your legs to the right and look over your left shoulder. You did so well today, so you deserve these stretches. Then carefully come back through center, hug your knees in and then rock the length of your spine up to seated. Let's come to a cross-legged position on our mat, sitting up nice and tall with our fingertips resting by our sides. Carefully drop your left ear down to your left shoulder as you walk your right fingertips further away from you to feel a really nice stretch through the side of your neck. Then drop your chin down towards your chest, keeping your eyes closed if that feels good. Then carefully return through center and drop your right ear to your right shoulder, walking your left fingertips away from you. Then carefully drop your chin down. And then return your head through center, open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands to prayer. One more, inhale, breathe in all of that beautiful energy and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and I hope you have the most beautiful day.